Kolkata, city of joy, is not only the capital of state of West Bengal, but also known as cultural capital of India and commercial capital of Eastern India. The Kolkata metropolitan region, passing through the eastern bank of River Hooghly, has population of about 15 million, spreading across 1,850 square meters of area. The people of Kolkata are now grateful to those planners who, as early as in 1947, tried to explore the possibility of introducing a rail-borne rapid transit system within the city. This gave birth to the concept of first ever underground metropolitan railway transit system in India. The construction of first ever underground railway project from Damdam to Toliganj was sanctioned on 1st June 1972 and started its first commercial journey on and from 24th October 1984 between Esplanade and Bhavanipur for a stretch of 4 kilometers and became fully operational between Damdam and Toliganj since 27th September 1995 with a total of 17 stations. It was again extended towards the south from Toliganj to New Garia, Kavi Subhash, and towards north from Damdam to Noapara, which commissioned on 10th July 2013. As on date, about 99.94 .94 km new metro projects have been sanctioned. Work is going in full swing for the following metro railway projects. First, Noapara to Barasat via Biman Bandar, 18.13 km. Second, Noapara to Dakshineshwar via Baranagar, 4.01 km. Third, Joka to PBD Bagh, 16.75 km. Fourth, Kavi Subhash to Airport via New Town, 32 km. Fifth, Baranagar to Barakpur, 12.5 km. Sixth, East-West Corridor, 16.55 km. The proposed metro corridor from Noapara to Barasat via Biman Bandar is located in the northern part of the city. Starting from existing Noapara station of North-South Corridor, the proposed alignment up to Biman Bandar Yard measures 7.036 km. This corridor is planned to serve as part of extension to existing metro network towards north to serve the areas of Damdam Cantonment, Jessar Road and most importantly connecting Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport with Metro Rail Network. First phase construction of this alignment will be from Noapara to Biman Bandar Station. First station, Damdam Cantonment. Situated parallel to same named railway station of suburban network of Sialdah Division of Eastern Railways is an elevated station which will serve the passengers of adjoining areas of Damdam Cantonment. Subhashnagar, Railgate No. 2 and Gora Bazar. These areas are densely populated and have narrow excess roads. Thus, Metro will reduce the road traffic considerably. Metro Railway Alignment crosses Eastern Railway Alignment just after this station. Second station, Jessar Road, which is on the surface, will serve the areas of HMV, Kamalpur, Kaikali and Airport Gate No. 1. From this station, Metro Alignment goes underground towards Biman Bandar Station and Yard. Biman Bandar. This station is underground and largest station of our metro corridor, having five platforms and interface with NSCBI airport passengers to Metro Rail Network. This station will be the junction of New Garia Airport Corridor with Noapara Barasat Line. This station will not only serve NSCBI airport passengers but also Passengers of nearby locations like Motilal Colony and Airport 2.5 Number Gate. The station will be connected by subways with National Highway. 
National Highway 35 at one end and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport on the other end. State of art facilities like travelators, escalators will be provided for passengers. Biman Bandar Yard Biman Bandar Yard is the largest underground yard in metro system of India and possibly amongst Asian metro rail system with six tracks. This yard will serve the purpose of switching tracks of metro trains and metro trains originating from Biman Bandar station can be sent to desired platform from the yard. This massive underground Biman Bandar Yard and station is being constructed by top-down method of excavation instead of traditional way of bottom-up cut and cover method along with introduction of many other modern methods of civil engineering construction thus making the project to be commissioned in 2022.